I was lucky enough when I was a teenager to take part in an Earthwatch expedition as a tourist to participate in research and I picked a killer whale research project and I haven't really looked back. I've never really left since I was 16 and I'm still just as fascinated as I was then. Well, I've been working with Bob for about 10 years. Uh, we were both conducting killer whale research in Alaska. What we've been trying to attempt to do the last three years is, is really ramp up our research and trying to learn more about killer whales in the Antarctic. Probably uh, more than half the world's killer whales live south of 60 degrees south in the Antarctic, and there's a lot to learn. Our attempt today was to gl get little glimpses of data or, or scraps of evidence, if you like, to learn about how these killer whales live their life. One of the really interesting things about having researchers aboard the National Geographic Explorer uh, in Antarctica is that not only are they doing their work, but every day they're sharing that work with our guests. So this is an interactive process. Science is being done, research is being developed, knowledge is being added, and our guests are participating in that whole experience. And everybody benefits as a consequence of that. This is real citizen science in many, many ways. It was great today. We, um, we, when we got out on the boat, there was two different family groups there. So we decided initially it would be ideal if we could deploy tags, one on each of those different groups. And we were able to do that on an adult male in one group and an adult female in the other group. You got it? We're also able to collect a skin sample from each of those two groups and get photographs from all of them. And we knew all the whales. We'd seen them before two years ago. So it was really a really exciting day. Yeah.